I'm at Navdanya with Vandana Shiva, and so pleased to have been here, Vandana. Thank you so much for inviting me to join you for Bumi Conference and part of the A to Z Agriculture course. Could you share with our supporters in Ontario uh, the importance of the Seed Freedom Campaign and steps that people can be taking to support it? Across the world, people are realizing, first, that something's very wrong with the food. And second, they are now recognizing that food is not in our hands anymore. It's controlled by companies who only want to manipulate it for profit, uh, denying us the right to know. And the big fight in California is an example of that. But all food begins with a seed. And it's the seed that the companies really seek to control. They have patented the seed, which means they now say they have created the seeds. They are the inventors. We must pay them royalties. For what? For giving us toxic GM food. This is a total closure, not just for humanity. It's a closure for evolution. It is literally an attempt to say, seed, you will not grow. I will terminate you. You will not reproduce. The farmer cannot save seed. It's illegal, both under the new seed laws of compulsory registration and under the patent laws. This is the ultimate imperialism of a life itself. And if we don't stop it, there is no future generation. Forget the welfare of a future generation. That is why we must fight for feed seed freedom. And this year was the beginning. It was like the trial run. We pulled together a global alliance which has worked on an amazing report sharing stories of both seed saving, seed sharing, as well as challenging the seed monopolies. And over the next three to five years, as long as it takes, we've got to liberate the seed. We've got to liberate our food. We've got to liberate ourselves and our future. Really appreciate that, Vandana. And I know for myself as a director at Organic Council of Ontario, I feel our movement in organics and the work that we're doing around uh, seed sovereignty and food freedom there uh, resonates around the world. It was really great to be able to connect what's often considered a, a wealthy person's concern around organic with this work here uh, at Navdanya. Um, an offer that I'm going to make is that when we're signing up members at our council, we're going to offer people a checkbox to add uh, membership in Navdanya and be able to join the two movements. Uh, could you speak to the importance of people doing work abroad and supporting work that's happening abroad, but also taking steps within their communities in North America to, uh, to make a, a change in how things are happening agriculturally? You know, I'm old enough to have been part of solidarity movements when um, struggles were in the South. Life was cozy in the North. Uh, everything was guaranteed. There was social security nets, health care, everything. And suddenly this last decade has thrown us into one trajectory because the same companies are stealing our seed, stealing the seeds in Canada, US. They are chasing farmers after they contaminate their crops. Percy Spicer is such an outstanding example of this new kind of seed dictatorship. Um, so in a way, the food web, which is always one, has become politically one. And that is why it's very, very important that people understand that when a company says you should not say no to GMOs because you are pushing the third world to starvation, you should accept golden rice because kids will get rid of blindness in the third world, now onwards everyone which should say we are part of the same web of life, we are part of the same food web, don't try and divide us with lies and manipulations. The food we eat is the food the Indian peasant eats, is the food the earthworm eats, is the food the bee eats. We are one, and you cannot divide us. So stop making the third world the scapegoat for putting your di food dictatorship and seed dictatorship agenda. And the reason Navdanya is important is we are in the third world. And here in the heart of the capital of hunger, because India now is the capital of hunger, we are showing that through seed sovereignty, through biodiversity, through caring for the earth, we address the problems of hunger and poverty, not by handing over our fate and our future to Monsanto. Thank you very much.